Look who's hey, here. Hey, Mikey boy, what's going on? Shit, Mike, you can wash your fucking hands once in a while. Now I need a fucking bed. Hey, I've been working. Working people occasionally get dirty, you know? Besides, I just wiped them off. With what? The same fucking rag you used to clean the toilet, you filthy fuck? Put a lid on it. What are you, from the health department, or you want to do some business? <laughs> business, of course. This here's my friend Vito. Vito, this is Mike Bruski. Don't shake his hand. I ain't got that much soap at home. Nice to meet you, Vito. Hey, uh, me and Vito go way back. He just come back from overseas and he needs some cash. So I figure he can help with your uh, supply problem. I can vouch for him. Uh-huh. Okay. Joe told you about our side business, right? Yeah. I only want regular cars, nothing fancy. You get a cut of every car. I take as many as I can handle. And don't bring no cops around, okay? They follow you here. I don't know your ass from Jesus. You get me? Got it. God damn it, Mike! You put your grubby mitts on my fucking coat. I paid a fortune for this thing. All right, calm down or I'll stick them up your ass, you sissy. You know, dry cleaning costs Jesus these days. Jesus Christ. Plenty, and who knows if they can even get this filled you out. You shut up. Vader, listen to me. I need a Walter Coop today. I got a few people looking for parts, but I can't find a car. Because you don't know where to look. Every time I drive down Hunters, I see one parked by a bar there. I think the place is called the Lone Star. Isn't that a move in your neighborhood? I'll stick out like a sore thumb. All right, look, I'll give you 350 bucks for it. It's worth the risk, right? 400. <laughs> All right, deal. Avito, come on, let's go. Andiamo. Meantime, I'll be sending you the cleaning bill for my coat. Yeah, I'll change my address, you rat prick. Okay, listen up. 